Hey, this is Matt from Investquant. Today is Wednesday, October 6, 2021. The markets are seeing some strength coming in this afternoon. We have consolidated this morning after a week open. We opened just below yesterday's low here in the S&P. Um, we also opened below the low in the Russell. We did not in the NASDAQ, and it looks like... Uh, the Dow is right there, just barely within. So we kind of have some different opening locations taking place today. But what we've seen so far is the week open, a consolidation period followed by a break higher. We are now trading above the prior session closing price, and we have strong daily range, strong volume taking place. So we're going to look at a pattern similar to that this afternoon in Discover, and it won't be applicable to all of the instruments because they don't all have the right opening location. But here's how I'm going to set it up. I'm going to grab all four instruments. We're going to be looking at a 3 p.m. Eastern time entry set up as a long that will exit at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. For the opening filters, I'm going to say we open below the prior day low, so opening area here and equals next to open below prior day low. And like I said, this is not true for all of the instruments. It is true for the S&P, which I'm mainly paying attention to here. And then if we look at the post open filters, I'm gonna put in two different pieces of information. The first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this minimum range for intraday range as a percentage of the five day ATR. The day's range is almost 100% of the five day ATR. Uh, we're about 96%, I think, right now. So I'm gonna put this at 90%. Um, we'll probably be at 100% by the time that this comes out, but this will allow us to look at just those days that have good strong range taking place. And then I'm also going to say that as of the time of entry, 3 p.m., it is trading above the prior session close. So that's kind of important. You've got good range and you open below the prior day low, but at three o'clock, you're trading above the prior day close. So that shows buyers stepping in. So to do that, intraday close versus daily levels, I'm gonna hit equals next to above prior close. Lastly, I'm going to put it in a similar market environment. We are below a 10 and above a 200-day simple moving average. And now I can click View Results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 3 p.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time when you open below the prior day low. And then at 3 o'clock, you are trading above the prior session close. And you have at least 90% of the five-day ATR as a daily range. Uh, this is taking place below a 10, but above a 200-day simple moving average. Historically, we've got 22 samples in the S&P, 36 in the NASDAQ, 26 in the Dow, 29 in the Russell. The win rates on them are all very similar, right around uh, mid-60s. S&P coming in 64%, NASDAQ 64%, Dow 62%, Russell 66%. So uh, very similar win rates there. If we look at the average moves, they are very similar in size for the S&P. For the NASDAQ, the wins have been bigger on average. That's also the case for the Dow. And then the Russell, pretty similar in size. The average win's a little bit larger there, but pretty similar in size. So historically speaking, this pattern has leaned towards the upside uh, going into the close, assuming all of this stuff is true. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck the rest of the day, and we will see you next time.